Uh, so I started karts when I was 12 and then I uh, moved up into Formula Ford um, for a couple of years. I did that uh, in 2013, 2014, National Series last year and uh, ended up seventh in the championship. Uh, it definitely taught me a lot about um, how to interact with other drivers and stuff like that and, uh, you know, move about in the field and, uh, you know, uh, pass, uh, all the techniques that I need to race in there and stuff like that. But cat him down the inside, back the car into the corner. And Cam Hill was lucky there, gave him racing room and avoided a collision. Yeah, couldn't quite make the move stick, but it uh, was spectacular as he backed it in into, into the corner there. It was uh, plenty of action there. Yeah, yeah, it's a bit of a bit of a step from uh, Formula Ford into V8. Obviously, they've got a lot more power and they're a lot heavier car, but um, no, I think I'm adapting okay and getting used to the car a bit more, which is it's good fun though. Um, we sort of just uh, had talks with the team last year um, regarding doing a season this year and then sort of all fell into place with sponsors and stuff like that, so been pretty lucky to have the opportunity, which is good. Yeah, yeah, they definitely did very well in the Kumo V8 series, they, really, uh, they won the championship and uh, they also did very well in uh, Dunlop Development Series with Paul Dunbarrel winning that, so yeah, they're certainly the team to be with. What a story it's been for Justin Ruggier who came into this year as a relative unknown but he's jumped into one of the toughest categories around and he wins the Kumo V8 Touring Car Series by beating the most successful driver in the series. Well done, Justin Ruggia and Eggleston Motorsport, champions for 2014. Yeah, yeah, it is a lot bigger, it's heavier, and you know, I'm sort of still adapting to it and stuff like that, um, but I know, I think I'll, I'll do okay. It's, oh, it's amazing. Like, they're such a great car to drive. It's really a step up from Formula Ford, and yeah, they're just an amazing car. Uh, it'd be nice to finish in the top five for the series, uh, and I think that'd be a pretty good result first year and stuff like that, so we'll see how we go.